Is there a book that changed your life? I remember starting it and just devouring it. I was just knocked out. Probably the first page turner that I ever read. To Kill a Mockingbird, the book that gave the world a powerful gift, a new way of thinking. It won the Pulitzer Prize and became an Oscar-winning movie. The story told through the eyes of a six-year-old tomboy whose mom had died. Her name is Scout. Did you rape Mayela Ewell? Her father, a lawyer who defends a black man did not, sir. wrongly accused of raping a white girl in the era of the Depression. Name of God. Do your duty. And in seeking real justice, that lawyer and dad taught a lesson in courage. You never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view. Sir? Did you climb inside of his skin? Walk around in it. It was a book a lot like the life of its author, Harper Lee, whose own mother had died when she was young and whose father was also a lawyer. He defended a black man in a murder case, but in real life, her dad was so shattered when he lost the case, he never practiced law again. After the enormous success of her book, Harper Lee rarely left her small hometown, never published another book again. And tonight, at 84, she is still living at home, where she and her book are the pride of tiny Monroeville, Alabama. Everybody from Monroeville is very proud of it. I always feel like I wrote the book. On this 50th anniversary, the town gathered to read and remember in that very courthouse described in the book, the novel that became the conscience of a country with the passage that salutes integrity for every place in every time. Miss Jean Louise, stand up. Your father's passing. Stand up, 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 your father's passing. And so we choose Harper Lee and her small readers and her gift to everyone who reads that book.